Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here. Welcome back to more Witcher 3. Why are we going back here? Why are we in Crow's Perch? Why are people making those ugly noise? Noise? Nose! Noises at me, I do not know. There must be some sort of nose conspiracy. A conspiranos. I just figured maybe we'll just talk to the Baron. I mean, we do have some new information in the case. Mainly the fact that, you know, he may have uh, lost his wife, which kind of sucks. But I was also hoping that I can ask him for a pass, because that just... That seems logical that he would be able to provide one for me, right? I mean, he has connections and stuff, so... Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here. I'm grateful. Is that how much your life's worth? Okay, then. Almost forgotten about that. Thought I wasn't gonna get a reward. Alright. Let's go. Where's the Baron? Witcher. A word, please. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sits. Well, that's an improvement. Baron, what's up? There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them, spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, are called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Oh, it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This Reesty Meyer. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? Is she alright? In good health, safe. Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. <sighs> this is sort of difficult, though, because we will need the Baron's help. But at the same time, well, we're not going to go force the daughter to come back. We're just going to go check on her. So I don't want to, like, piss off the guy who's going to be helping us here. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this. Call it enticement. And this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? We'll talk about her, don't worry. But right now, you'll tell me about Siri, just like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. 
A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. That lass of yours, pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size, why, worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad, not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kerr Morhen. Witcher school there, I. But they only took lads, as I recall. They made an exception for me. Right. Me to say you're a she-witcher. Not entirely. The mutations, I was never subjected to them. But everything else I know, I learned from the witches there. Know any of them potions? Not so much. A bit. Because you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. A woman could swing a sword. I've knowed one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager? Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win, I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. You'll want your head about you. And we start at daybreak. Dawns. Ready? As ever. First one to the tower. Man chop! Prepare to lose, Baron. Don't you embarrass us? Go! Dun 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 like, I, w I wasn't gonna, like, I didn't think the Baron was... Come on, can you sprint or not? Keep, she keeps stopping. Like, the Baron's so big, like, how the heck can his horse race? I mean, the horse must be way down, but the poor thing. I won't let him win, though. I wonder if they're gonna put any obstacles in my way. Maybe things I have to jump or something. I'm about to run out of stamina here. Is this checkpoint? Oh wait, that was it. Your wind, not woman. Worthy of the best horse. The mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. She screamed like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even were he to break his neck. And they make it? Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? 
I must say, Witcher, seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why would you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. I grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind, but the woman cuckolded me for years without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. Her things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger, to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times.
She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve Anna. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! You got it. Nope. Don't think so. Where is he? I have to wait for him to land, because I don't think I have any ranged weapons. Ooh, go! Chia! Gonna have basilisk for dinner! Don't eat- what- what is that horse doing? Look at that horse! <laughs> this is the real monster! <laughs> I think- wait, do you see this in front of me? I think that's the tail feathers of the horse in the air there. If- if you remove a horse's tail feathers, apparently it just floats around in midair. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this seriously. That's so that is precious. That is just precious. Last words. Let's go. 
Go get that Baron back. I hope he doesn't die. Okay. The path to get up, though. I'm not the best at scaling stuff, but I'll find a way. <laughs> Who's under that horse? You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here, you fed me. Cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where'd you get these letters? I haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. I'm sorry. What'll happen if I don't go with you? To you, nothing. Now I'll probably lose a few more men in the swamps. I'm determined to make this journey. I'll think about it. Fuck thinking. Just help me. I'll gather my men and ride to Dan Warren. Once you've mulled it over, join us there. <laughs> 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 
What the? Dare you! Skype Sorry, we was never here. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as Ardle's shit. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern, and some folk there were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. That was... that was like... 30 minute cutscene, wow. Okay. So the Baron wants us to like return to Crookback Bog, but... I don't know, like, I don't... It's just... I don't want to force anybody to be anywhere they don't want to be. That's like the gist of it. I'll get my weapons enhanced. Get ready. Also, can I fix on my armor just a tad? Does anybody have that kind of table? How does that table look again? I can't remember how the uh, enhancements table looks. I can't remember. Oh well. Regardless of that. Come on, Rochiru. Did you just come out of that house? I told you, horses are not people. We have to be off, so we have to decide on what we want to do now. I mean, we have a clue in Novigrad, and I was correct, he did give us a letter of safe conduct. Apparently there's something on the notice board. I should check that before we go. What's new? Bam. Boom. What you wanted. Extermented monsters rampaging around these parts. Okay, interesting. Let's jump up on the horse and like get going. So we can either go to Novigrad now, or we could explore more. We could do the quest from uh, Kira. We have several things that we can do. There's a lot of little places here and there. I mean, it could be fun to. Maybe we should do the quest from Kira, because it's. I liked it when I did it before the whole system crashed. Sure. Not so fast, Roach. 
Let's go do the Kira Metz mission. Are we gonna have time in this episode? No, but I mean we we can we can start it. I mean today's already been a lot of cutscenes, so you might as well just have a few more so we won't have to have them in the next episode. Or does that not make sense? Maybe that doesn't make sense. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so let's have some gameplay in today's episodes. And if we want to have gameplay, are there any things we can check out here? Any, like, symbols that could be interesting? Well, Kira's over here, and there's a lot of uh, symbols about. So let's go checking out some undiscovered locations. Let's go looking for places of power and the like, and hope that the enemies over here are of uh, a proper level. Something that we can actually stand a chance against. Hey there, Neckers. Let's just get out of here. You guys are ugly, you're scaring my horsey. But I look forward to the Kira Metz mission. I look forward to being able to defeat the boss that crashed my PC. Get some sweet, sweet revenge. But for now, I'll just ride and ignore the little Neckers. Not worth my time. Not at all. Should be coming up on it any second now. Probably get our Quen on, but you can't switch that on horseback, apparently. Okay. Guarded treasure. Excuse me? Um, uh, Geralt! <laughs> no! You don't swim on land! Bad Geralt! You don't understand how, uh... Think these things work. What is that? Wait, what is that? Is that a spider? What? All right, we're gonna have to be reading up on these. Bleah. They don't seem too fierce, though. I mean, I don't think they've dealt a single blow to me. But damn. Spiders? Say what? Insectoids. Workers are the most numerous and thus the most frequently encountered cast of Andrega. Within the colony, their duty lies in building nests and cocoons, acquiring food and caring for eggs and larvae. When threatened, they will summon warriors to aid them, yet if forced to defend themselves, they will, and do so surprisingly well. All ghouls. Yeah, we got, we got these, uh, we met them in the last episode here. All ghouls differ from normal ghouls in size, strength, coloring, and most importantly, intelligence. Whereas ghouls and graviers are primitive creatures unfit to plan even the simplest ambush, all ghouls and their kindred, such as scimitars, are capable of forethought and are thus more dangerous. Ooh. Alright, let's go check out the goods. Bam, 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 bam. Nothing very interesting there. A few more of them in the forest there, but we got what we came for. Let's see, which direction do we want to go? Let's go check out the little places over here and go looking for some places of power for the rest of this episode. Because I know th there can be a lot of cutscenes at times. I'll take that sword, I mean, I have the space. Just throw it away. If I have to, it's not a big loss. I'll just sneak through the woods here. Person in distress, which probably means bandits will be around. Let's get our crossbow on. Sup, guys? Oh, really? Level 5? That's gonna be refreshing. Oh, they're already killing each other. Wonderful. Come on, level 5 renegades. <laughs> I fought, like, level almost 20-something Nilfgaardians. So you guys aren't a lot compared to that. Sorry. Don't mean to break your spirits. Whip. Now where's the guy with the arrows? I wanna I wanna get a reflect kill. I wanna get a reflect kill. Okay, here we go. Come on. Come on. So wonderful and so satisfying. Okay, a band that dropped his notes here. Are there gonna be anything interesting here? Bandit's notes. Nilf bastards must have coin coming out of their arses. They buy every peasant I capture, no matter if he's lame, cross-eyed, or dumb as a rotten stump. Never haggle neither. They need folk with a silver mine, they say, and no one ever lasts more than two months there anyway, so every hand helps. Fine by me. Business is good. Only thing worrying me is that soon I'll have caught all the peasants around, then who'll I'll sell? Yeah. 
tough times, man. I feel really bad for you. I really do. Now, this person in distress. A barber. Did I get a haircut? One of them's got a key. Thank you. Like, if I was him, I wouldn't be all like, well, one of them's got a key. I'd be more like, get me out of here now! Thank you, Bannister. You saved my life. You ever come through Claywitch, you give us a holler. I'll shave ye and shear ye for free. I can get a free haircut in Clay Witch? Where's Clay Witch? Is that a town on the map? Maybe that's not something I've discovered yet. He, he would probably live nearby, so it must be... <gasps> we gotta find Clay Witch! I can get a haircut! Like, my hair is pretty magnificent, but I wonder what else I can get. Like, what other styles there are. Dwarven Spirit, I'll take that for you. I don't need the alcohol anymore. Maybe I should have followed him. I should have stalked him. Alright, but let, let's be on our way. Let's see if it, this is probably not the... This is just like a single house. Abandoned sites. Hey, sup guys. How are you? Ow. Why do... What does everybody insist on having sex with animals? It's just not cool. There's no consent there. Stop. Ugh. These guys are annoying. These guys are seriously annoying. Bring it on, then. Alright, if that's how you want to do it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm not gonna let you guys be the end of me. Abandoned site. Yeah, sure thing. I'll be careful about picking up anything, because... <gasps> Level 10! Last time I did that, it didn't go too well for me. Accidental theft led me to be an accidental hero. We got a new slot! Okay. Okay. Let's see, is, do we want any one of these, I wonder? Let's see, battle trance, adrenaline loss, one taking damage. I haven't really noticed the effect of adrenaline points that much, but... Mm, when vitality reaches zero, we'll be consumed. That is cool. I like that. So we're gonna get that. Gonna activate it there. I really, really like that. Then we can get another ability here and we'll have another attack power. Yeah. I'll just focus on the melee for now. It's... It feels nice being powerful. Yeah, I probably won't steal anything. They're peasants, but I had some bad experiences here. Well, thanks for that. Um, is there anything here that could look like a village? What could be a village? There's apparently a bandit camp over there. Clay Witch, could that be a village over there? Like, I want to find this little village of Clay Witch. I can get a free haircut. Like, it's not every day you get a free haircut. It's probably not along the road here, but screw it. Clay Witch is our goal, but if we come across anything else on the road, then we're gonna seek that out too. Like, I haven't felt such a joy of just finding random markers on the map since Skyrim. Like, I really like this. Alright, hidden treasure. Water damaged letter. Alright, is this gonna give me some clues as to how to acquire said treasure? That'll be under quest items. Molke, I know you don't smuggle no more. That you set aside plenty of coin and ain't interested in the risk. Just wanna enjoy time with your wife and kitties. But I gotta ask you for a favor. We gotta move one more load, and it's the last, I promise. It's a simple job, couple of chests, risks minimal, and rewards substantial. Please do it, if not for the gold, then at least for old time's sake. Bert. Oh, Bert. Can't really get with the times, can you? Alright, let's swim out here and get brutally murdered by drowners. Dive! I think that's the diving sound, at least. The submarine makes. Okay, here it is. Okay, got it. Wasn't the greatest treasure I've ever seen. I think I got one of those... Uh, pieces of armor before, but whatever. Whoa! I don't think fish are supposed to behave like that. <laughs> the Witcher's been a little glitchy today, but to comical effect at least, you know? If it's glitchy, it might as well be funny. Is this a treasure chest? No, it's not. Oh, get out of here. I found a fishing spawn point, I guess. Let's we'll go to the surface now. There we go. A lot of drowners on the shore. New marker, Hangman's Alley. 
Is that what I'm coming up on? What would Hangman's L? No, this is what I, this is a guarded treasure probably. Hello, hello, hello. Here. Yeah. I'll slash your faces in. I'll slash your faces. Ow. When there's so many of them, they're always gonna get a hit in here and there. Ow. Here. Yeah. Come on. Swing your sword around. Push them to the ground. Hello, hello. No, you don't. Boom. Beautiful. Axeman's boots. Okay, that was it. The big guarded treasure. I still really want to find Clawitch. Hangman's Alley. Ooh, so that's like a... Oh, cool. Okay. Fast travel destination. There must be something in the forest here. Like, what is this build? Like, maybe this is... No, th this... That has to be Clay Witch. I think that's Clay Witch over there. Almost said Cleavage. Roach. Roach, ro Roachy Roo. I want to go get a haircut. We're going to get a haircut. Come on. So excited. And I just can't hide it. What's going on? Reaper's the only one he'll talk to now. What did this man do to you? Him? Nothing. Appeared in the village. Looking to trade his ring for some bread. But we've no food. None. Because of the black ones. Trampled our fields. Raided our granaries. Burnt our orchards. So instead of bread, he'll get a noose. Please, good folk, do you not have ears? I did not want this war. I have deserted to go home to my wife and child. Take everything I have, but spare my life. Let him go. Oh, sure. And maybe give him some fixings for the journey. Saddle up a horse for him. Black one showed us no mercy. We show them none in return. Tried it the nice way. Gotta try something different. They're like, if... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. If, like, a group of people have showed you no mercy, and you then showed you're just as bad, you are just the same. Like, it's... Uh, take it on a situation-by-situation situation basis. Don't judge an entire people based on the actions of what you assume to be everybody. Hey there. Thank you. If you had not come... If I'd not come, only one man would have died. Really going back to your wife? Yes. She bore a child just before the war started. A girl. I named her Beatrice after her grandmother. Why? Why did you help me? Lynch mobs. Nothing good ever comes of them. Now go. Stay off the high roads and give any villages a wide berth until you cross the Aruga. Again, he might be like part of the invading force, but still, I don't know. That's just me. Like, that's saying that every German soldier during the Second World War were, you know, evil. For example, I don't know. Okay, let's, let's just go on and let's not have a debate about evilness although there's a lot of evil in this game like this like mm, this is not a world you want to live in it has that game of thrones vibe like yeah it's a really neat world but i'd never want to live here what aren't you guys gonna attack me there we go that makes more sense why the heck of rune did you do that instead of bringing out your axe Did you see that? I deflected the arrow into him and stop calling me. There's some people trying to like sell me stuff on the phone and I don't want Shh. All right, let's let's kill this guy in style. Bring it. Ah, it was too slow. I'll just chop your head it. Stop. Wait, oh wait, that's my mom. The reason I assumed that was somebody trying to sell something was because somebody like that had just called me and so I'd declined to call cuz I just don't feel like it, I'm recording. And then they call, then somebody calls me straight afterwards, I'm like, they're trying again, but nope, that was my mom. Now that that's done with, I had to... This is me after walking up a few stairs, that's... 
That's what happens. I keep finding this Salmian piece of armor here. Some interesting things here, though. But I really want to go and get myself a haircut. I want, I want, I want a haircut. It's so much fun deflecting arrows. Like, I, I really like her abilities. Like, there's probably... Well, there, there's so many playstyles here. And if you'd like to see, like, a certain playstyle, then, my, like, what I recommend is just yeah. getting this... Pirates are getting this game for yourself and just enjoying it because the amount of like customization and different playstyles is really impressive. I should not be here. That's way too many people. Okay, I have to be careful here because I can be sniped. Whoop. Whoop. Be careful here. Okay, I have to watch out for bolts as well as moving. Okay, there's somebody up here. Oh man, that's a lot of them. Yeah, we're gonna go with a, a bit more swallow. Whoa, okay. They know how to spawn in objects. Spooky? Yep. Yeah. Got one. And go, go. Uh, uh. Nope. Ooh. Come on. Let me see what you're made of. Uh. Yeah. Oh, putting Skyrim combat to shame. Uh. Okay. Who's left? Archers. I'll make quick work of you. Uh. Hey there. I tried to deflect the arrow there. It requires some precise timing. Still working on it. Ha! Got him. Got hit by this guy. Speaking of which, mind if I chop off yours? Yeah! Alright, this was a worthy uh, end to the episode. Big old pirate raid! Only this time it's not the pirates raiding, it's me raiding the pirates. Ha <laughs> ha! Were you saying something? I thought I heard you say something. Was that- oh, you're dead now. Okay. Alright. Sure, come on, fire at me. Let's see how lucky you are. What's that? Oh, you're dead because of your own crossbow bolts! Bastard. Alright, that was uh, that was a pirate party on the beach, yo! Not too shabby. Nilfgaardian drinks all over the place. Woo! Old sheepskin, oh yeah. Didn't they used to make like condoms out of sheepskin or something? I don't know why that came to mind, but yeah. Dwarven spirits, got my cells and goodies. <laughs> ah. Pirate's notes. Oh, there's a treasure here. Can I go find a pirate treasure? Pirate's notes. Yesterday, we found a silver basin and a ruby brooch on the bottom. Means Queen Seleika's treasure really is somewhere around here. Maybe in the hold of one of the wrecked ships off the west coast. But we can't check at them at the moment. Waves are too high. We'll have to wait till the seas calm. Arr! We're pitching camp. Arr! Release the Kraken! Okay, let's... Let's go look for ancient treasure. Do we have the time? Sure, we have We have time for some treasure hunting. This is, this is so cool. Like, this is... So cool, just exploring and upgrading your characters. It feels so good in this game. I've missed this. Get a lot of stuff. Get a lot of stuff. I'm overburdened. Does it look like I give a crap? Yeah, I, I, sh I should probably give a few craps about that. Because we gotta drop some stuff. Let's start with... Swords that are worth less than 50 or around 50. Pickaxe. Rusty Velen Sword. Blackjack. There. That's gonna make me able to move around a bit more. 
So let's go swim out and see if we can find the sunken treasure. I guess the drowners are... Oh! A guarded treasure on this island. Is it possible to meditate? Is it because of enemies? Or is it because I was not in a favorable position? There we go. Oh, level 15 Night Wraith. Okay, we'll start with Quen. Then we'll prepare my Urden. Let's of course get the uh, Silver Sword out. Ooh! Brutal. Step into the ring! Enter the cage! It's a matter of pride when you enter the cage. You're a sneaky wraith. Can't even fight on your own. Come on. What was that? Oh, you're in my domain now. Come then. Hwia. Hwia. Wah. Good night. Goodies. Damn, bam. Diagram, Harpy. Oh, is that a usable item? I'll check that out next time we come around the blacksmith. Okay, well, what we're looking for is over here. So, let's begin searching then. Oh, we found water. Underwater. Okay. I see it. How do I get in there, though? Oh, is there a hole here? I can loot it from here. Got a new blade. Anything else I can loot from here? Nah, wait, I could probably, but... Whatever. Let's just go go to the surface. Ah. Alright. Done and done. Let's check out what kind of sword we got. Well, six sword. Like, we rarely find anything that's better than what we have at the moment, but still. That's stuff that we can sell. Right now, I really want to go get to that village, though, for several reasons. I want to both get a haircut, and I want to sell stuff. Actually, it was it's pointless to call him here. I gotta swim over anyways. I hope I'm approaching the right... No, is this a bandit camp? No! I was hoping... Ah, maybe this isn't the village after all. Ugh. Well, oh, it's a more like a pirate camp. But that's fine. I'm down for fighting some pirates, even though we just kind of did. I'm always down for kicking the butts of noobs. Ow. Alright, looks like you need a little bit of Axie in your life. That's fine. You just like being kicked. Uh, oh. Ow. I hate it when they do that. What? Let's try and get around him. Damn. He keeps hitting me in the face. I don't very much like it. What do you have for me? Pirate leader's notes. Okay, let's read that too. More tales of treasure that I will need to be collecting. <laughs> okay, what is this? That is here. Nothing quite like war. The Redanians and Ilf Guardians are at each other's throats and no one pays a whit of attention to us. We can rob, raid, and kill till we get bored of it. Which will never happen. <laughs> Usually I never set ashore near populated places, but this time we had no choice. Our boats started taking on water after the last storm. We had to drag her onto dry land for some repairs. We were ready for a fight when we stepped onto the beach, but no one even tried to chase us off. Sometimes one of the Baron's blowhards come to us, but taking care of them is no trouble. Since we're not in any particular hurry, I decided to build us a new vessel instead of patching up the old dinghy. Why not? Best take advantage of the turmoil while it lasts. I hear there's a boatyard nearby that'll do just fine. And while we wait for a new ship, I'll send men out to look around for Queen Suleika's famous treasure. If it's worth a tenth of what I've heard, we'll all be rich. Well, I will at least. Sorry, already got that treasure. Wait. What's up the road here? Is this like a huge pirate settlement? Oh man, it might be actually. Cool! More people to kill! So it looks like you got your dose of gameplay too here. It's not just cutscenes after all. What do you know? Yeah! Go! Qua! And I'm making these episodes hour long because I just feel like it fits a game like this. Because. In a deep RPG, you need to have like some link to the episodes to actually get anywhere. I've been trying to blow up these barrels here, but I just can't do it. Oh! There we go! That's what I was going for. And I'm overburdened. 
Well, that was bound to happen sooner or later. I'll do up some blackjacks. Okay, well, my dreams have officially been crushed since this was not what I thought it was. This- <gasps> That's the village! Right there! Come on, that has to be the village. <laughs> I just wish I could, like, see what a- uh, Griffin Steel Sword enhanced. Cool. We'll check that out whenever we approach a blacksmith, which I would like to do sometime soon. I'll go swimming across the water and check this place out. Condyle. Cannibals? Still not what I'm looking for. Cannibals in their underwear. What? What has happened here? Why has everything just fallen together in this land? Why is there no place where I can... Oh, are you okay there? I'm gonna assume you're not okay. Nope. Actually, you got me. So, what do you guys have in here? Any treasure? Then again, I, ca I can't, like, carry anymore. I'm gonna be over... I, I, I can't, I can't. Guys. Really? Okay, I gotta loot this place, then I gotta find myself a village to sell. And the hunt continues for the village. What are you guys carrying, anyway? There must be some sort of treasure chest. That's... You see him confused, Gerald. That's why it's still on the map. What is this book here? Apparently nothing. Is that the chest, then? Ooh. That's gonna make me over, uh... It's gonna make me burdened a bit, but... Damn, okay, so that gives me a bit more armor. Resistant to piercing. Ooh. Oh, that, that looks sort of... That looks kind of fancy. Maybe. I'm considering it. I'm considering it. Let's drop a few things. Badoom. 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 Yeah, check this out! That's not bad. That's pretty freaking cool. Okay, well, this was one crazy place. I'll just fast travel out of here now. Well, we found a lot of... Oh, wait, I never fully... Mm. Okay, sure. I'll go back to this camp and loot it. Oh, I guess that was it. So maybe the sign actually points to the location where you have to be. What is this? X-Men's trousers? They are... They have more armor, but less resistances. But still, we can't see them, so sure. Get ourselves a new armor. Nothing wrong with that, and... We'll drop the old ones then. Okay, let's go to town. Okay, armorer. Give me some stuff. So, selling time. He's run out of money, but I can make him repair stuff, and then I can just sell more. So we can do that. We have this one. He can't fix the axe. I don't know who can fix the axe. I'm unsure. I'll have to figure that out. At least I got one of those repair kits, which is good. The Axeman's boots actually seems to be better than the Temerian boots. But the Temerian boots have more resistances. But the Axeman's boots are lighter, so I should actually start using the Axeman's boots. And with that, we have new gear! And we also have a new mission to find the village, which should be somewhere here. Like, look at everything we've come across, but still, there's no sign of the village. Where could it be? Could it be down here? We have to go check down here. I won't give up until we find a village and get ourselves a free haircut. But guys and girls, that'll happen in the next episode. Have a good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.